The project that we published last year was basically about understanding how your fingers develop during, during uh, embryo development. When uh, an embryo, when, when a human embryo or a mouse embryo is very, very small, it's like just a couple of millimeters across, your hands are developing from a piece of tissue where there are cells everywhere. It's very, very small, but there are cells here and there are cells here. So one fundamental decision that the cells have to make is whether to become fingers or whether to become the gaps in between the fingers. The cells that choose this fate later will die in order to sculpt the shape of the fingers. But the question that we wanted to understand is how do cells make the decision to become fingers or to become the gaps? There was a theory from many decades ago from the mathematician Alan Turing about a system called a Turing system. And the Turing system was an explanation of how some interacting chemicals in a space like this could form stripy patterns. But it was never clear for a long time whether this kind of mechanism could actually explain something like fingers. So the main uh, goal we had for our project was to address that question. So the approach that we used to understand this system was a systems biology approach, which means for us that we combine computer modeling with experiments. The computer model was then able to make predictions and the exciting thing for the project was we were able to then go back and test these predictions in the lab in, uh, in vitro by culturing little pieces of tissue using drugs that seemed to be the relevant ones and showing that the pattern, the pattern of the fingers in this little tiny piece of tissue would actually change in the same way that the computer model predicted. The project was mostly done by two PhD students, actually in this case. So it was a totally joint sort of 50-50 project between a theoretical computer modeling PhD student and an experimental student, both in my lab, both able to talk and work together on a daily basis. I mean, the project lasted probably about four years, and it was four years of, I would say, almost continuous um, interplay feedback between the modeling and the experiments. Understanding how tissues organize themselves, understanding how individual cells within a tissue make the decisions to make a kind of geometrical arrangement, a structure, this is essential for us to understand how tissues work, how tissues can be built for, for example, tissue engineering. I mean, we're a long way away from designer tissues, designer organs, a long way away. But we have to understand how it works in the first place. And this is explicitly a, a step in that direction. Understanding how cells communicate with each other to build complex structures, tissues and organs, which hopefully one day will lead to being able to fix tissues, build new tissues, those kind of things, a long way in the future.